Let us review Oracle ASMLIP commands provided by Oracle ASMLIP support package. Oracle ASM configure command can be used to configure the Oracle ASMLIP kernel driver. This command requires root privileges. Oracle ASM init command can be used to load and initialize the Oracle ASMLIP kernel driver module. This command requires root privileges. Oracle ASM exit command can be used to shut down and unload the Oracle ASMLIP kernel driver module. This command requires root privileges. Oracle ASM update driver command can be used to update the Oracle ASMLIP kernel driver software. This command requires root privileges. Oracle ASM status command can be used to check the status of Oracle ASM lib kernel driver. This command can be executed with root privileges or it can also be executed by grid infrastructure owner or grid user. Oracle ASM list disks command can be used to display list of all instantiated ASM disks. This command can be executed with root privileges or it can also be executed by grid infrastructure owner or grid user. Oracle ASM query disk command can be used to display information about ASM disks. This command can be executed with root privileges or it can also be executed by grid infrastructure owner or grid user. Oracle ASM create disk command can be used to mark a disk partition for ASM use and instantiate it for Oracle ASM lib. In other words, this command will label the partition as ASM disk. This command requires root privileges. Oracle ASM delete disk command can be used to delete ASM disks. During delete ASM disk operation, ASM disk header is erased. Oracle ASM lib will no longer recognize the disk as ASM disk. This command requires root privileges. Oracle ASM rename disk command can be used to change the current ASM disk label. This command requires root privileges. Oracle ASM scan disks command will check block devices for ASM disks. Disk partitions labeled for ASM lib will be added to the ASM lib kernel driver. All the disk partition tables are reloaded. Any disks that no longer exist are dropped and stale ASM disks are cleaned. Finally, system is scanned for ASM disks. If ASM disks are not already instantiated, then scan disks command will also instantiate ASM disks. It is recommended to run Oracle ASM scan disks command after any changes to ASM disks. For example, after creating, deleting, or renaming ASM disks. This command requires root privileges. Oracle Real Application Clusters is implemented on shared disk storage architecture. Shared disk storage from storage area network vendors 
can be attached to each note of rack as a LUN logical unit number. In this slide, all ASM disks are assumed to be of shared disk storage type. Oracle ASM lib by design does not talk to other nodes in a cluster. This is the job of the ASM software. Oracle ASM lib merely provides an interface from ASM to the disks. However, the ASM lib does ensure that the same label is used to see a disk on all nodes in a cluster. While each node may have a different device path, the ASM lib will see ASM disk label and all nodes in a cluster will know they are accessing the same physical disk. Oracle ASM lib kernel driver needs to be configured and initialized on every node in real application clusters. Oracle ASM status command can be executed on any node in rack to get the status of ASM lib kernel driver on that specific node. Oracle ASM status command needs to be executed on every node of rack if we need to know the status of ASM lib kernel driver on each node. Oracle ASM list disks and query disk command can be executed on any node in rack. Oracle ASM create delete or rename disk commands can be executed on any one node of rack. Oracle ASM scan disks command should be executed on each node of rack after any ASM disk changes such as create, delete or rename disks. Remember that Oracle ASM lib by design does not talk to other nodes in a cluster. 